So uh, here we are in Nuke, and what we want to do is bring in those Chrome Ball, uh, the, the HDR images that we've got from our Chrome Ball, from the, the two images from the, from the different angles, 90 degrees apart. And what we want to do is unwrap those images and then combine them um, um, so that we can actually remove uh, any distortions or and myself from the images. So first thing we want to do is bring them in and unwrap them. So, um, okay, what we're going to do is if I press... Uh, R to create a read node and it's going to read in shot one so there's shot one and then I'm going to go R and read in shot two okay here we are okay and then to unfold them so to unfold them, we can use a um, uh, we can use the spherical transform uh, node. So I'm just going to press Tab and type in start typing in spherical transform node. If I type it in correctly, that will help. Uh, here we go, spherical transform. So we're going to use the spherical transform node to transform uh, these uh, this HDR. So if I just press one into uh, a long, uh, unwrap it into a longitude and latitude image. Okay. Now, one of the things we want to do is um, uh, sort of adjust the output format in here. So, typically in Maya, what we want to do is we want to have a two to one aspect ratio. So, we want the resolution of this to be twice, so the width should be twice the length of the height. So, two to one up. Okay. Um, so, what we might want to do is actually put in a sort of I'm going to create a new format here I think okay and I'll just call it uh, uh, I'll call it two to one okay and I'm going to go uh, I'll stick with the width of 1048 but I'll just put it in as a height of 1024 let's do that again there we go okay so you'll see that that's now unwrapped it, but it's put it on uh, a two to one aspect ratio image. OK, and that's what Maya would expect to sort of uh, uh, to, to happen. OK, and then what I'm going to do is do exactly the same uh, for this node here. So I'm just going to go tab uh, spherical transform. OK, uh, and here we've got the spherical transform node here. And I should be able to select. it's already selected the two to one. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Let's do that. That's this one here that we're looking at. Uh, and if I go in here, it should have the two to one aspect ratio that I put in last time is there. So I can just use that. OK. Let's, uh, and again, I'll just put that in as number three. So if I swap between the two, you should be able to now sort of more clearly see if I can just try to use my space a little bit more efficiently. OK. You should be able to now kind of see between those two images. So this is the image I took from one uh, one angle, and then this is the image that I took from a different angle, okay, 90 degrees apart, okay? That's, these images are, were taken 90 degrees apart. And uh, just to give you a setting, this chrome ball was sort of sat on a table. I hope you could see that from the original shot. It was sat on a table, okay? Um, great, okay. So now what we want to do is uh, merge these images in a kind of A over B comp. Okay, so let's do that. Um, so I'm going to put in a merge node. Uh, I'm just going to go A over B. Let's have a look what that looks like. Okay, so doing an A over B comp here, and you can see both images sort of on top of each other. Um, you could change the operation if you want to in order just to get a better idea of uh, how these look on top of each other. But that, that, this should be enough to help us align the images. And then what we want to do then is take one of these transforms. So I'm just going to take um, uh, shot. I'll take shot two. And I'm going to try and align shot two to align with shot one. Okay. So... Um, let me just double click this. I'm going to double click this to move this spherical transform two node up to here. So we're looking at this this area here. In fact, I'll, I'll close these just so we're not confused. Okay, this area here is looking at this node, and what we're going to do is adjust this. So imagine we've got this sphere, and what we can do is kind of rotate this sphere 
uh, and unwrap this. You know, imagine that this image is basically a 360 degrees. It's convolved, so we can just rotate this image any way we want and align it. Uh, align to to align this uh, to align this the image coming from this node with the image coming from this node. Okay, so what we can do is we can take the R. Uh, we want to rotate it in Y. Okay, uh, and it should be 90 degrees. Let's try that. Okay, and you can see it's got us pretty close, uh, and we can just adjust that. Okay, now what I would do is um, I'm looking at this and thinking the best way to align this. Is this we've got this sort of green bar here, this green bar here, which is sort of just left by the curtain um, before we get to the black wall here. Uh, and uh, if I if I just go and show you, so we've got the green bar in this position in image uh, in the first image, and then in the second image, let's do that again. Sorry, the green bar here in the first image, and then in the second image it's just there. So we could take those two green bars and align those. So again, just going to manipulate the RY property here very carefully and it should be about 90 degrees I obviously just estimated the 90 degrees so it's not you know an absolute work of perfection this uh, but uh, yeah uh, that's what I did also what you'll find is that the the um, the images so again I'm just going to select one and two uh, sorry image one and two you'll see that the angle of this is slightly different depending on the um, the shot as well okay so what we can do is uh, and you can see this slightly spread apart so what I'm going to do is is we're rotating this to rotate it this way we're kind of rotating it against the angle sort of going into the image that's the RZ angle here so I'm just going to move this just a touch just to kind of align this and then what we can then do is use the RX as it brings down this uh, image a little bit we can use the RX to kind of compromise and and, and bring this together and I think that's the best way to do it. I think that's going to give us the best result so I'm just sort of tweaking it a little bit uh, uh, to align these two images okay great so um, uh, now what we want to do is um, we, now we've got these two images aligned. What we want to do is um, output uh, is is um, take if I look at image one. So if we look at the first image, you can see that you've got me in the shot here. In fact, there's a whole group of people in the shot here. Okay, and then you've got some distortion just here as well and on here. So this was the distortion that I mentioned sort of earlier or in the previous tutorial that we want to try and remove, okay? And by taking the images 90 degrees apart, what you should find is that I'm now in a different position, okay? And the distortion is in a different position here, okay? Um, so what we can do is fill the areas of the... Uh, in fact, what I might do is take this image and then fill the areas of this image um, with the areas of this image which are okay does that make uh, uh, which are okay so what you'll see is the where I am and where the distortion is is in different places in this image than it is from that image and what we can do is obviously fill the holes in in each image now what we can do is just output these uh, each of these images as they are um, uh, from from nuke now and take them into Photoshop. So we could just do this in Photoshop. So for example, if I go and do, um, uh, so if I just, uh, all I've got to do is put in a right node under this, okay? Uh, and then we can just write out the images uh, here, okay? Um, you might want to sort of define a file type. So again, HDR, just put out a HDR image, and give the file a name, so we just need to go to uh, find our folder. I think I kind of went off a folder too far. Uh, okay, so we're going back to our folder here. I'm just going to add this uh, to our. Um, 
just going to add this folder to my sort of shortcuts here just so I can get to it a bit quicker now um, uh, and then I'll just give it a, uh, I'll just give it a name um, so I'll just call it uh, uh, shot one uh, underscore unfold go save and and then all we want to do is just click render okay accept those options that's fine hang on a moment yes I needed to select a file type sorry about that okay HDR file type and then I think actually on here I might want to actually specify as dot HDR let's try that again click render click OK and that would have rendered that image out so if I go back to my folder now um, I'll have uh, shot one unfold HDR that I can then bring into Photoshop um, and then I'll just click on this and hopefully it'll open up in Photoshop here we go here we go so then I could just bring these two the two images in Photoshop and then just combine them that way okay so that's one way of doing it um, uh, another way of doing it is to actually just merge the images um, using the roto tools uh, available inside of um, uh, inside of nuke okay and I'm going to show you that on the next tutorial